Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this line motion graphics animation in After Effects. You can use these kind of animations in your explainer videos or your documentary edits wherever you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and I have already imported a couple of these icons which I am going to use. It's up to you, you can use any icons or images whatever you want. So first let's begin by creating a new composition and let's call this one icon. And for the width and height, we are going to set this to 512 by 512. Let's call this one icon 1. And frame rate 30 fps, duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now inside this composition, we are going to create the base for the icon, which is by using the ellipse tool. So just simply double click on this and it will create this circle. Let's make this white. Now we can select one of these logos. So I'm going to let's select this G logo and drag it over here. Let's press S and I'm going to like scale this down. There you go now we have our first logo now we can select this icon one and press ctrl d now let's go to the icon two and let's select the g and we are going to replace it with the other logo so we can replace it by holding down the alt key and just click and drag and it will replace it let me just quickly scale this up so you can see we have this icon two and let's press ctrl d let's do the same thing with these and create like a bunch of different icons so now i am done with my icons and we have created six in numbers and let's close them up now we are going to create another composition let's call this one scene and for this one we are going to change the width to 1920 by 1080 but we want this to be like very long so that we can add our all our elements into this single comp so i'm going to just multiply the width by three so that we have a big composition just click on ok and we have this one now inside this let's add our solid and just make it like white for now just click on ok now we can add some four color gradient to this search for gradient let's drag it onto this and let's change this to white and this to white as well now we are ready to add our icons so first let's select all of them and just drag them in the composition let's press s and i'm going to change the size to 30 there you go now we have our icons and our next step is to add those lines so for that we can quickly enable the proportional grid now we can select the pen tool and make sure none of the layer is selected because we are ready to add our lines so for that we can just simply click somewhere around here then i'm going to move like to the middle and then just simply click and drag so that it will create these handles and i'm going to like make these handles just this wide and after that we can click at the end then again click and drag to make these handles just around here now we can click again and just select this first point hold on the alt key click so that it will create this one more handle now we can just make it to this one box length and we can change the fill to none and let's add the stroke also i'm going to change this to solid color let's increase this let's make it black for now so that we can see what we are doing so here you can see we have added our first stroke now in the same way we can create other ones or we can just simply select this press ctrl d to duplicate this let's select this one and just drag this one to somewhere around here now again we can select this press ctrl d and let's place one in the middle there you go so now we have all these lines let's select them and i'm going to change their width to let's say five i think this is too less so we can just increase it a little bit now we can animate them by simply going to the very beginning let's select one of them go to add let's add a trim path let's open this up add a keyframe for end let's start it from zero let's move like a little bit ahead and i'm going to set this to 100 so here you can see we have this animated line now we can select these keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor now also i'm going to change the curves and let's just zoom in we're basically going to change the curves to look something like that so that they will start slow and then it will go to this point now we can copy this trim path and then just simply go to the very beginning select all of these layers and just paste it now if i press play you can see all of these lines will be animated once we have this animation we are ready to align our icons so let's just align them on top of it and the icon one we can place it to this side so just move it over here and these icons we can just place them to their respective positions 
There you go. Now we have all of these icons. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates, and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. And now let's continue. Now at last, we can select this, press Ctrl D, and let's just move it to the end as well. So that all of these merges and perfect. So here we have our composition. Now we are done with this so we can get rid of the proportional grid thing. Now we are ready to add our data or any element that you want to move across these lines. So once you're done with the lines and these icons, we are ready to add our data or any element that you want to flow across these lines. So for that, let's go under our section. We have this file and I'm going to quickly drag it and let's press S to scale this down just scale it to whatever you think looks good i think this one is fine now in order to make it flow across these lines we can just simply create like five copies because we have five icons now we can select all of these layers let's press p for position now we can add keyframes for their positions now let's select all of these layers and let's just search for path and after that what we have to do is just go to the first layer and just copy the path and then go to the first icon select it and just select the position and paste it now go to the second path, copy it, then select the second icon, go to its position and paste it. There you go. Now I have pasted all of these. And if I press play, you can see all these data elements will follow these paths. Now we can select all of these keyframes that are in the middle. Then right click. We are going to remove the row across time. Then we can select all of them. Press F9 to ease them. Let's go to the graph editor. Now I'm going to change the curves to look something like this. So we want them to start like that and just start little slow then go to the middle and then they will go back to their original position now we can select them hold on the alt key and just increase the distance between them so also i'm going to move them far away so first we have these lines flowing up and then we will have our data flowing across them we can select them and just move them down below our icons so that they are not visible there you go now we have our flowing animation once you're done with your scene we are ready to animate this whole thing using a rice camera so for that let's create a new composition let's call this one main and for this one we're going to set this to 19 20 by 1080 and this is going to be our main composition just click on ok now inside this let's drag our scene one now i'm going to make it 3d and let's just go and pick a really nice position where we have our logo so just place it somewhere in the middle, somewhere around here. Now we can add a keyframe for position. Let's press P. Let's add a keyframe. Now let's go to somewhere around here and just move it so that we have all of these flowing to this. Perfect. Now if I press play, you can see we have these lines coming up and then data flows as well. Now we can play around with this more by simply easing these and then just move the keyframe far away so that first the lines will appear then we have this data and let's select the keyframes and i'm going to change the curves to look like that so it will start and then we have this data going to them and then it goes back to our final logo at this position there you go once you're done with this, we are ready to add some really nice perspective to this. So for that, let's add a camera. So right click new, let's add a camera. And for this one, I'm going to choose the 50 mm preset. Just click on OK. Now let's right click and let's create a null object and I'm going to make it 3D as well. Let's select the camera and I'm going to parent it to this null. Now after this, we can select our scene and select the orbit around tool. Then you can just simply click and just move around your object or scene to give it a really nice angle also let's do one more thing let's select this i'm going to press r and let's just rotate it and give it a really nice angle let's select this null press p and i'm going to quickly change its position so that this is inside our frame let's select this move anchor tool let's just click and just give an, give it a really nice angle I think this looks good now what we can do is you can see we are getting these black lines so for that we can go back to our scene and let's go to composition setting and let's just increase the height let's multiply it by three so that we have this big composition let's select 
select them and press Ctrl, Alt and F. Then it will fit to the size of the screen. Also, let's do one more thing. I'm going to like add 1922 to this as well so that we have little bit of spacing at the end. Again, hold on the Ctrl, Alt, F so that it will fit this size. Now we have filled our background. If I press play, you can see we have this very nice motion, but it is going off the track. So for that, we can select this, press P and let's just simply position it where we have a final G. So now if I press play, you can see we have all of these lines coming up and all of these elements are in our scene. Let's play around with this camera a little bit more so I can click and just give it a nice angle. Perfect. Now what we can do is we can select this camera. Let's press P for position. Let's press R for rotation. Let's add keyframe for everything. Let's press U and just go to the ending. Now we can select this and just move it like little bit so that we have little bit of variation into our scene. So now if I press play, we have this camera motion. Again, we have to like play around with the position of it a little bit. So let's just place it over here. So now it moves across the scene as we are moving with this. And at last we can just move it like over here. So now if I press play, we have our lines coming up. Then our data is flowing through these app and go back to this. Now at last we can stylize this board by simply adding some really nice depth of field. So just enable this. Now we can increase this quite a bit. So under the aperture, let's increase it quite a bit. Now you can see it will blur this out. We can click a click on this focus distance stopwatch and if I change it you can see we can easily bring it back to focus and let's move like a couple of frames so we have to keyframe this focus distance so that we can keep all our crucial stuff within the focus range let's move a little bit ahead and I want these to be in focus let's move a little bit more and now we can change the focus to be over here let's move a little bit more and now all of these icons are in focus. Again, we can move a little bit more. So here you can see we have all of these elements in focus. Now at last, we want this final logo to be in focus. So just play around with the focus distance. Now we can also add some zoom to this. So let's add a keyframe. Let's go to the very beginning. And at the end, we can like zoom in. And let's just add a keyframe in the beginning as well. So we can like zoom in. Now select all of them press f9 so we have the zoomed in version and then it will zoom out then we have these lines then the data will come out so the timing is a little bit off we can fix that by adding a little bit of delay to this now if i press play you can see we have fixed our timing and now all of these elements like stay in the middle of our screen like that at last you can stylize this board by adding some really nice grid so you can go back to this scene let's select this background press ctrl d and on top of this, let's delete this background. Let's search for grid. Let's drag it onto this solid. And under this, we can change a couple of these settings. First, let's set this to with slider. Also color, we can like make it a little bit dark. And let's just increase the size. Also, let's slow down the border to something like that. Set this to width and height slider. And just increase it a little bit. So there you go. Now we have added this grid. And if I go back, and if I go back to the main composition, you can see we have our scene with this very nice grids at the background as well. So in this way, you can create these kind of motion graphic scene with this really nice 3D depth of field and all of these elements animated. So the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates, and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check them out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.